In today's video, we're going to have a think about how we can counteract inflation. On the channel, I've been talking about stocks that I buy and ETFs and things that you can do to counteract the pain that's going to come over the next 18 to 24 months. I truly believe that we will be entering a recession and I think these stocks and ETFs will help us counteract all the interest rates and all the uncertainty that's coming up. I've been talking about that again for the last few months and it's best to prepare ourselves. So in my Discord, a few people have been asking me why you're picking this stock, why you're doing that. I just thought it'd be clear if I just do a video, wrap it up my thoughts here because I think this will be a common question over the next year. What is the crack everyone? Welcome back to BioCell. I hope of course you are all well. So first off, Generally speaking, in any time of crisis, the safe haven that people go to is gold. So we'll start off by looking at gold. We go to my ETF list then, um, gold is here. We can also see that the ETF is bar. Anyone new to the channel, I like to work on the day chart. Um, and we can see my Bollinger's bands, which I will turn off for the purposes of this video. If we scroll in, we can see that from the all time highs, gold is still considerably lower from roughly the all time highs. We're still uh, about six to 7% down, which doesn't seem like a lot, but commodities don't move. A huge amount let's be honest so we can see on the buy and sell alert indicator anyone that doesn't understand what this is it's an alert indicator that i have created that allows newbies to understand when you should enter a trade but all this other stuff i teach in the course which is the links down below but it's not to just talk about that too much just take my word for it um since the buy symbols come in on the 7th of february we have been in on this trade and we have read this up seven percent i'm actually three times leveraged uh, possibly sometimes five times leveraged and we've been swinging in and out of this it had to be going well until we got the big sell-off last week which i'm still not too sure why that happened considering we went to war but i think it was just a case of peak fear and a bit of a pullback but we have started crawling back up again and for me gold is going to be a decent hold for the foreseeable future um, i don't see any reason to get out of this position until maybe things ever settle down or we get into roughly our, our price target but like i said another six percent depending on your leverage so gold is a good opportunity for doing that and that is the bar etf or just gold itself you can trade but on this channel i prefer to trade an etf designed specifically with leverage and all that tied into it the reason being is because there is no cfd leverage no way of being able to get cashed out which is is, is very much a, a real concern you see i've done a bit of ta here on the gold we can see we had this breakout zone we have broke out and we're riding up in this channel so this should be going well it's looking strong on the macd the only thing i would say is potentially um, in overbought territory on uh, the rsi the next one that i want to talk about is the tlt this is the 20 year treasury not going to talk too much about what it is for those that don't know but at a high level this is the kind of thing you want to be in when interest rates are going up when they're going down it gets tanked hard you can see that we are considerably down from the highs nearly 20 percent so I have drew this falling wedge and you can see that we have fell down on this and I've done a measured move in and around this level. So I am looking for 154 as a current position size. I might take profits, but this is another one that if interest rates are going up over the foreseeable, I will need to keep monitoring what's going on in Ukraine. If we break in the full skill war, interest rates historically usually get pulled back. So you got to keep an eye on this one, but this is a perfect good one as a hedge. We can see here our MACD is looking strong. RSI is also looking strong. Um, and that is a nice potential measured move of in and around 10 percent the other one is oil the likes of oil k free crude oil uh, etf there is plenty potential upside for this and this has been going well i'm personally not in oil because i don't particularly like oil as a commodity it's not something i'm like and my channel is all about green so i kind of feel like i'm going against it even though there is money to be made i'm not that foolish but i was in oil before and i've sold out of it and i just felt mm, it's gone a wee bit bonkers there could be a potential pullback i could be completely wrong my god is telling me i'm going to be wrong on this but i'm okay seeing this one out but oil would obviously naturally be one with the resources now speaking about resources because of the ukraine war we can also look at the likes of wheat and we can see that wheat is obviously shot up massively and the reason wheat is shot up massively is because if we go to this article and this just uh clears out a lot of things russia is the world's top producer for commodities including aluminium copper nickel lithium palladium platinum iron tin zinc and uranium as well as other major heavyweight oil natural gas wheat and corn so these are the things that if you're going to be going into they're going to be shooting up massively i'm currently in lithium um which we've always been in the channel we have seen a great rise in that commodity and those types of stocks so anything in and around that's going to do well aluminium i have a leveraged position two times on that and i'm two times leveraged in 
silver as well just because it's another commodity not arsed about the other ones reason being is they can have too much exposure i do have glencore which is a massive producer of a lot of these as well so i prefer to go with the stock for there and leverage three times on glencore and we can just have a look at the likes of glencore and again all of this is in my discord if you're interested in joining the discord check it out down below i've been talking about this for weeks so we got in on, on the glencore dream uh, on the channel in and around this sort of date the 7th of february and we've riding it up to here we're up 15 percent times three it doesn't take a rocket scientist to work out where that's sitting about 50 percent up on this trade um we're going well i have no reasons to sell even though the RSI is looking like we're heading to an overspot territory. It doesn't put me off holding this for the long term for the reasons that we've just talked about. Look at this, 37% in less than a month. That is incredible gains on wheat. However, with the likes of these ones, it only takes, and I'm not saying this is going to happen, and every day that goes by, it looks more and more unlikely to be the case. But if any sort of progress was made in terms of a peace deal, these things could take a sharp pullback. That's why I prefer the gold with the likes of the gold, the treasury, the ones that have been beaten down a bit, and you're getting getting them at a good price. Copper, Brent oil, weed, and you can see here platinum, all of them are all up today as I speak and do this video. And just to add an extra bit, there are certain stocks that I'm invested in that I believe will do well in inflationary recession times. And again, this is sort of me building a position for anticipation of what the next 12 to 24 months is gonna be. Those stocks that I've just talked about are more for the here and now based on the current situation we find ourselves in Ukraine. But for inflation, in terms of the next 24 months for recession, these are the types of stocks I have on my books. Albertsons Dream, this is a grocery store stock. Two things I like about this, it has a, it does that COVID vaccines, so it has that side of things which will still play a part for the next 12 months or perhaps even longer. Um, so I like that side of things. I also like the fact that grocery stores are very, very recession proof. The reason being they can make slight tweaks to profit margins to cover any dips or high rates of labor that they may have to deal with. We can see that this has also shot up even just in the last couple of days. Yesterday had a 7%, nearly 8% day. If we look at it on the year, it has performed well, currently up 89% on the year. We have seen even highs of 114%. So you're getting it at a bit of discount, which is what I like. Charts look great. We're just back above our 180 day moving average, which is phenomenal. And um, if we even just bought this from when the buy came in, you would currently be up about 11%. I have been in this trade since this dip here. I'll be keeping an eye on it. I've been just topping up along the way um, with earnings. I was careful as always. It did dip massively in earnings. We bought the dip and we've been riding it up and down. So I'm sitting in a nice positive uh, position on Albertsons and I'll be holding this for the next 18 to 24 months. Um, and I will bring up the next stock before I talk about the reasons behind why I'm picking this one. The next one is Dollar Tree. And the reason I chose Dollar Tree is because dollar stores are the kind of place people tend to go when money is tight. When the purse strings are tight, they go to the dollar stores. There is other stocks of similar nature. But this is the one that I'm keen to wear on. Now we've got earnings coming up here, so I've not got my full position. I've, I have opened the position. We're currently up on that position, but I'll be waiting to see what way earnings goes. If it pulls back massively, I'm buying. And if it's strong, well, I'm probably gonna be buying either way, but I just thought I'd you know, wait and see what way earnings goes. So in 2008, we know about the recession. It started in December 2007 to June 2009. So if we go to this charts and we look at December 2007, and we write it to June 2009, we can see the stock was over 100% up. And that's the kind of gains that you want in the times of recession. When things are hard and inflationary measures are hitting hard, the likes of your growth stocks are going to take a pound in. It's good to have a hedge. And this is the type of thing that I'm looking at. So that's the video. Hopefully you'll find that informative. You can understand what way the hedge over the next sort of short term, medium term, long term, what stocks to potentially be swinging in and out of. Whatever you way you like to play it. Personally speaking, the way I like to play it is kind of hold long but know when to take profits and if you're interested in all that check out the course down below join the discord all of that if not if you just find it informative please just smash that like button and subscribe that really helps me grow i'm going to try and keep doing more sort of general videos rather than just specific stock videos of course i will continue doing that too but i'm trying my best to grow the channel and spread as much expertise i catch you in the next video guys enjoy the rest of your day Peace. yeah coincidence yeah coincidence yeah, coincidence. Something that happens by chance, I think not.